the AHD on release is a kind of a special uh, modulator here. Looks like this. And normally when you have notes, um, envelopes trigger when the note starts on note on. But this AHD on release triggers when the note actually ends. Um, that's why it's called on release. So when the note ends, this effect um, triggers this envelope. So we can modulate here, for instance, the mix knob. And then you can hear when we, when this note ends, we blend in the delay. Right, and you can choose here to hold this a bit longer for five seconds, maybe, or four seconds. So you can use this to have dry signals or dry synth sounds, dry samples. And then when the sample or the synth sound ends, you blend in some kind of effect. Pretty useful sometimes. Um, when you use this AHD on release here, for instance, on polysynth, and then you put the delay 2 inside the polysynth, you can see we can now utilize this polyphonic button, which means this AHD on release is applied to each voice that you are playing with the polysynth, uh, which makes it a bit special. So um, this means when you have this poly on here and you modulate, for instance, this effect, and then let this play, you can see it instantaneously switches off when the note ends. Okay. Um, I can put in here a bit more release time to the amp. Which means we can hold the voice a bit longer. So in Bitwig Studio, it's it's kind of um, when there's no audio coming from one note, then Bitwig kills the voice, the current voice. You can have multiple voices. So we, when we have here uh, three notes, we have three voices playing at the same time. You can also see this here when you click the polysynth itself. You have here voices. We have 12, 12 voices um, available to choose from. So when we have now three voices, uh, Bitwig decides to kill a voice when there's no audio ha when there's no audio anymore. So uh, when we have this in polyphonic mode um, and there's no audio coming from the voice, Bitwig kills the voice and also kills the modulation. So when we have the release time, you're pretty short. The audio is pretty short and Bitwig then decides pretty early to kill the voice. And then you can hear it switch it off here pretty instantaneously. So you need to have audio from your voice coming to Bitwig, keep it alive, and so are then the modulation. But that's not so, so much about the uh, modulator itself. I just wanted to explain it, the HD on release. And I think it's pretty clear what it does.